Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm back with my Raspberry Pi 3 running Raspbian Pixel and I want to show you something pretty cool. This is Exagear. Now what this allows you to do is run x86 apps on your ARM device like the Raspberry Pi 3, Raspberry Pi 2 or 0. They also support Banana Pi, QB Board, Jetson, and it was one other. I forget what it is. This does cost money, and we're going to go to their website now. This is Chromium built into Debian we're using right now. So here's their website. Raspberry Pi, Odroid, QB Board, Banana Pi, and Jetson. And it does cost. We have the Raspberry Pi Zero. It's $16.45. Raspberry Pi Two is $27.45. $27.45 for the three. They did send me a key to test this out. And I got to say, right now, it's not there. It's not worth $30. And I'm going to show you why in just a second. So there are a bunch of apps that you can run on here on x86. You can run some older games also, like Fallout 1, Fallout 2, games like that. But if we're talking close to $30 just for the software, that's another Raspberry Pi 3 right there. This, that's three Raspberry Pi Zeros that you could buy for the price of this software. If this was a $5 app, $4.99, I would tell you guys to go out and buy it and try it out. But right now, I cannot really recommend it at $30. That is, that's a lot of money. That's close to the price of the unit you're running this on. So with that said, let's get out of here and I wanna show you two apps. First one I have is Spotify. So I'm not fast forwarding anything here. I just created an account with Spotify. I've never used it before. I've always used like Pandora. And it's really hard for me to show you guys music in these videos because everything's copywritten and it will get flagged. We're still loading here. This is the Raspberry Pi 3 and I do have it overclocked to 1350 megahertz. 1.35 gigahertz. And we're still super slow. If we look at the CPU usage up here, 50%. And it, the Pi is putting out a lot of heat. I do have the Flirt case on it, which keeps it nice and cool. But if you're using this, I recommend a small fan if you have a tiny heat sink. And it's still loading. So maybe in the future, in the next few months or the next few weeks, they will get this running a lot better. You will never be able to play Crisis 1 on your Raspberry Pi 3 at 30 FPS. It's just not going to happen. The Pi just does not have the power. So here's a few stations, and I don't listen to any of this. Um, Let's see here. I just clicked on rock. And I'm not fast forwarding anything so you guys can see how this does run. And this is an overclocked Raspberry Pi 3. I do have 256 megabytes of VRAM dedicated to the GPU. So I was really, really hoping for a super smooth experience. If anybody knows what I'm doing wrong here, let me know in the comments below. If this should run faster and you know it should run faster, let me know. But I've installed it with their instructions. I've installed Spotify with their instructions and Google Chrome. It's just very slow right now. And I mean, I completely understand we're running x86 applications emulated on an ARM CPU. 
Now, I really, I don't know what this is about. I don't know what Spotify is, really. I guess I'm clicking on a video, maybe? And it crashed. So maybe in the future, I'm going to get acquainted with Spotify and I'll make another video, but I'm definitely going to be making another video this week on Fallout 1 running on here and some older Doom type games, x86. Let's try one more application here. I do have Google Chrome x86 installed. We'll boot it up or start it up. So this uses a guest image, and the guest image we're using is Ubuntu 14.04 LTS. It's an older version of Chrome. Go to Netflix. Now they do have a tutorial on how to install this on your Raspberry Pi using Exagear. And they claim it runs Netflix. Let's see if it really will. So I'm logged in here. Actually, not too bad. I thought it would take a lot longer to load. We still need to load a lot more images down here, though, and it's still going. So with something like this and music, it's hard for me to showcase this in a video due to copyright on videos and music. So if we are able to get one of these videos running, I cannot show you the sound and I'm going to have to blur it out. And it sucks, but that's what I have to do to avoid getting a copyright strike or something like that. But the way it's running right now, just loading Netflix, um, it doesn't seem like it's going to run well at all. And I'm trying to scroll down here. Very, very slow. All right, so Drugs Incorporated. So we'll just let it go. Let it load, see if we can even play this. So right now the CPU usage is very low. I'm not sure if it's doing anything in the background yet. All right, looks like it's doing something now. OK, 
Okay, I just heard sound coming from here, and it is playing. Sort of playing. Very slow playback here. Um, let's see if I minimize this screen a bit, if it helps out. And it did help out a bunch, actually. But it's still very glitchy. It's freezing up. Okay, um, actually, I guess it was working for a second. As you can see, it crashed on us. But they did claim it worked, and it did work for a little while. Right now, the software is not there, and I'm not trying to knock the company at all, but I have to say that $30 is a lot of money for this very, very slow software right now. If they could bring that price point down, which... They made the software. They could bring the price point down. I understand that they need to make money. I completely understand that. But at $5, this would be worth checking it out. I appreciate you guys watching. I will be making another video on this later this week. We're going to try some older x86 Windows games on here. And a few more applications if I can find anything interesting. Or something that I can show you more of. Because... Like I was saying, showing you music apps and video apps is really hard on YouTube due to the copyright. Like always, thanks for watching.